All right, Roy McElroy joins us at the 105th PGA Championship. We'll get right into questions. Alex? Yeah, Rory, can you just kind of assess not only the week, but your day and experience with Michael Block? Yeah. Um, yeah, look, the, I'll look back on this week as um, proud of how I hung in there and, and I guess my attitude and, and sticking to it, not having my best stuff, but um, probably not a ton of memorable golf shots hit. Um, uh, the my playing partner today hit a couple of memorable golf shots. So, um, yeah, it was, you know, the atmosphere out there playing with Michael was, um, was unbelievable. He, you know, we both got amazing support, but, you know, he got unbelievable support, understandably so, being, um, you know, in, in this position as a club pro and, and playing so well and, you know, competing into the, into the latter stages of a major championship. It was, it was really impressive and, um, you know, it was nice to go out there and, and, and share the course with him for 18 holes. Let's go up to 10, followed by 4 and 14. Could you explain the scene on 15? <laughs> um, I mean, it was an amazing golf shot. I mean, that, I, you know, that hole sort of given me fits all week. I, I haven't really liked the look, out, look of it. And then, you know, Michael stands up and hits this lovely little draw back into, a, into off the left wind. And... Um, you know, ball goes straight in the hole. It was, I guess, sort of when it's when it's your week, it's your week in a way. And um, you know, I think with with the way the weeks went for him, it was a, a fitting way to to cap off um, to cap off his PJ Championship. And you've you've talked a little bit about how you've changed your mindset this week. I'm just wondering, what specifically did you think was different? Um, I guess I just came in here trying to play a golf tournament, um, not thinking about. Honestly, not thinking about getting myself in contention, not thinking about winning. I honestly didn't feel like I had a chance of winning this week. Um, so it was just about going out there and playing the best I could and, and trying to make the most of it. Four. So the third straight major where Victor's been in contention on Sunday. He was one back today until making double on 16. What have you seen where he's taking that next step to kind of being a, a major contender consistently? And I don't know, what do you say to him? If, about just another close call. Yeah, um, I mean, he's putting himself in position, right? I mean, Jack Nicklaus won 18 majors, but he finished second 19 times. So it's all about putting yourself in position and getting, giving yourself chances. And the more chances you give yourself, the more um, probability is, is your, you know, one's gonna is gonna fall your way. And um, you know, Victor keeps keeps doing the same things and 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 keeps working hard. I mean. I've seen the last couple of nights he's been the last one here and working on his game. So he keeps doing that sort of stuff. It'll, you know, one will, one will fall into his lap. Up to 14. It looked like you had a lot of fun out there today, Rory, especially playing with Michael Block. Was this one of the more fun you've won rounds you've had playing on a Sunday in a major? Um, yeah, it would have been more fun if I played a little better. Um, but in terms of atmosphere and... and um, yeah, just the the whole sort of vibe of the day. Yeah, it's it's definitely one of the uh, one of the better ones that I've that I've played in. Are you a Bills fan now after meeting Josh Allen and getting all the the Bills chants out there today? <laughs> yeah, I said as I said at the start of the week, I think uh, I think the Bills are shaping up quite nicely for this season. So um, easier to root for a team when you know they're going to do pretty well. All right, we got time for a few more. Let's go five and then two and one. Uh, Rory, knowing, knowing you were struggling with your game coming into this week, how do you value or assess your tournament? Um, I feel sort of close, but also so far away at the same time. It's hard to explain. Um, I feel like sometimes it was the worst I could have played, but then at the same time, it's like the best I could have done it's it's a weird I I'm sort of I'm just it just doesn't feel quite where it needs to be and again just need to go back to back home and work on some stuff and um I guess just just try to figure it out so it's um you know like a week like this there's there's some good parts and and some bad parts and it's just trying to sort of pick all those pieces out and, and um, you know, obviously see what you can do better and, and, and sort of just move on from there. What do you learn from a week like this? 
I guess that I don't need my best stuff to, to compete. Um, I feel like I need my best stuff to win, but you know, I, I don't need my best stuff to compete and hang in there. Um, but yeah, I just, I mean, I just, I, I need to be better. We'll finish up with Juan. So do you think you were talking about expectations? Do you think having modest expectations might be the key to be happier on the golf course? Yeah, a hundred percent. Um, yeah, as a, yeah, I was, I was more accepting of things out there. Um, And I think it's hard, like the previous major championship at Augusta, all I think about is, you know, winning, 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 winning to try to win that green jacket. And, um, you know, I, I sort of, I then don't really think about just playing a tournament and, you know, the cadence that goes along with getting into rounds and whatever, you know, you know, I go to the second tee on Friday morning or Friday afternoon and, you know, I see I'm already... 10 back of Brooks or whatever. So then I'm thinking, oh, geez, well, I have no chance of winning. So then, you know, things sort of crumble and it's just like, um, you know, being a bit mentally fragile because you're so focused on the one thing you're trying to do when, in essence, you just need to play a golf tournament and see where the chips fall at the end of the week. And then, and then clearly you, you went beyond your expectations. So how good does it feel yeah. to be in contention again after all the last... Yeah, days? I mean, I, yeah. yeah, I would say, you know, a, a top 10 finish, I would have been pretty happy with that um, at the start of the week. But then once you're in there and you actually feel like you could have done a little better, it starts to become disappointing. But if I think back to myself on, on Wednesday, say, just before the tournament started... Um, You know, when someone said you're going to finish T7 this week, I would say actually that's it's probably not a not a not a bad week for me. How I'm you know feeling with everything. Thank you. Thanks for your time, Roy. Thank you.